everyone, my name is Susie and I'm the team's reliability engineer for this week in Mexico. Um, my role is basically looking after the reliability of the car over the weekend, recording faults and coming up with solutions and busy reporting back to base in Silverstone. I'm a senior composite designer and I mainly deal with carbon fibre parts. My main area is brake ducts, which I love. I've been doing brake ducts for five or six years now and I find that every year they get more and more interesting because they get more and more intricate and more and more detailed. So I've been at the team for nearly eight years now and been in Formula One a total of ten years. I studied mechanical engineering at University College Dublin and then went on to do a master's at Cranfield University in motorsport. And then I was lucky enough to get my first job in F1 straight out of uni. And then I'm here now. I love the job trackside when I can actually see parts that I've had a very big input in on the car and see them running around the track. You very rarely get to see that and it's very enjoyable to see your work come to fruition. It's Wednesday today and this is the first day that I'm at track. I'm basically catching up on all issues that we might have had at the last race and also if there's any new parts going on the car I can talk through with the mechanics as I have access to CAD trackside and I can go through the drawings and any issues. So that's basically what Wednesday is all about. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. The track walk is a very important part of the weekend from a reliability point of view. It gives me an opportunity to see if there's any new curbs on the track, any new drains, any new bumps that have formed over the years, because we haven't been here for a few years, and anything that may potentially damage the car over the weekend. I'll also take a few photos around the track. This can be used by the guys back at base to inform on next year's car or future designs, and even used for the simulator to see if the track map is up to date. Engine one. Engine one. Yes. <laughs> so we're coming up to the first corner here. There's quite aggressive curbs. So these are the kind of things we look out for. They can damage a front wing or bits of the floor. And then as we come off that, we come around to the apex here and I can see another big fluorescent curb this time. As you can see on these curbs, they're all fairly sharp. Again, we have another one at this apex. Whereas the height difference is, the different, is what makes the damage. So there. Be watching out for that this weekend. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the track walk now. Nothing too unexpected in the track, just a lot of curbs that we have to watch out for. So the rest of the day is checking the car, making sure it's as close to design as possible. And if I need to put any input, I will do that today. It will go to the patch, make sure it's all okay. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Feels pretty similar. Just me. I ate a little bit too much cake. <laughs> okay. Probably right. that on C3 maybe. Sorry?
everyone, it's Friday and we've just completed some pit stop practice. And during the pit stop practice I was just making a few notes about what things could be improved on. Today is the busiest day of the week and I hope you'll join me later in free practice and you can learn a bit more about what I do during the sessions. And so FP2 is just about to start and we're getting ready for it. Um, just a quick check over the car before it goes out. FP1 was okay, we didn't have any major issues, so that's successful from a reliability point of view. So we'll just do a final check over the two cars and then it's good to go and I will see you during the session. Okay, can you send me a screenshot of that just so yeah, I know what's the right so one you, it is? If you get a load of um, oh, off. warnings. Yeah. Okay. It's mostly visual at this point. And then when it comes in, we will do more physical check. So now that the car is out of track, we'll wait for the other one to fire up. And I'll go around to my spot where I can monitor the car when it's running. This is where I work while the car is out of track. And um, I can monitor various things, channels from temperatures, suspension overloads. So we better get to work. Friday running done and um, we now have to load lots of meetings this evening to go over all the data that's gathered and um, hopefully there won't be too many issues to deal with and then I'll see you all tomorrow. So it is Saturday morning and it's nearly time for free practice three. We've just completed our last round of pit stop practice. So we're getting ready for last practice session and then we have qualifying this afternoon. Today is slightly different from yesterday as we did all the test items yesterday where today's performance running in the car. So it should be a little bit quieter but it never is. So there'll be lots of meetings and strategy calls and hopefully a good result. So I have two roles with the team. I'm a reliability engineer and a senior composite designer. There's three of us in the reliability team and we swap out through all the races. We're all designers based in the design office. So that gives us input back into the design and we bring back all the info to everyone back at the factory. So it's basically anything that's carbon fiber, um, which when you see the car, that's most of it. It's the front wings, the chassis, brake ducts, bodywork, rear wings. So they're all composite, so most of the things you see on the car are from the composite design department. Well, carbon fibre is a very flexible material. We can do very complex shapes and very intricate designs. And also carbon fibre has different properties for different situations. The high temperature stuff, we have high stiffness stuff for front wings or high toughness and impact resistant. There's all different types and makes it very usable for F1. So need to get back to work for the session is about to start. So I'll see you like guys later. Thanks.
Welcome to Mexico, Aston Martin, Formula One fans. It is Sunday morning. Sorry I didn't get to catch up with you yesterday evening, but we had a pretty busy session after qualifying. Lance's accident caused a lot more work back in the garage, but it's all good now. The car is fully built and ready for the race today. It meant we had a bit of extra work to do last night, just going over bits that were broken and seeing what needed replaced and making sure the car was safe for today. So this morning after Lance's accident, we just had to do a few additional checks. We lost one corner, we had to replace the suspension, but it all looks good. And just the general checks that we would normally do anyway, but just doing them a little bit more thorough this morning. Yeah, Sunday, race day is definitely the most fun day. It kind of builds up very, very slowly. And then all of a sudden there's a big rush and very busy during the race and after the race. So the excitement is great. During the race, I'll be monitoring various channels, especially at this race where we're quite high altitude and temperatures are issues. So we'll just be watching temperatures of the engine and brakes and making sure everything's okay to finish the race. So next up is the team briefing, so I better go do that and I'll see you all later. So that's Sunday and the race wrapped up. Um, both cars finished, which is good from a reliability point of view. We're now just stripping the cars and seeing if there's any damage, but so far so good. Sunday evenings tend to be very busy because we're stripping the cars and see if there's any broken parts that need to be replaced or repaired for the next race. And because we're a triple header, the next race is only next week, so it's more important to find all those things as quickly as possible. So I'll spend the rest of the evening going over the cars, making sure everything is good, and then pack up and off we go to Brazil. Hope you enjoyed seeing the weekend through my eyes. We'll catch you later. Thanks. Bye.